Welcome to the Axon MD demo. Axon MD is a module which enables the integration between Maximo and Documentum. With this integration in place, Documentum is the sole repository of documents, while Maximo provides backlinks to the files via Documentum. This video demos two scenarios. The first illustrates the file transfers attached to Maximo, which are imported to Documentum by Axon MD. The second shows how files imported into Documentum are attached to Maximo. So, let's start with the first scenario. Axon MD sets no strict constraints on the repository structure in Documentum. Repository structure, auto linking, and auto naming rules are maintained and all configurable as per Documentum functionality. We can see the repository structure of this particular setup where servicing requests are split by asset number, location, and service type. For example, John Doe notices one of the pumps is leaking. He raises a service request in Maximo to inform engineers for required repairs on the pump. He's taken a photo of the pump, which he attaches to the service request. With the integration in place, Axon MD will detect the image upload and automatically send the image to Documentum. John Doe creates a new service request, setting descriptions and request classifications as per Maximo setup. All the fields available in Maximo can be used by the interface when sending metadata along with the document import. John Doe uploads the pump photo taken and provides a name and description. Attachments in Maximo are stored as physical documents on the Maximo server and are linked with several Maximo entities. John Doe can continue his work and Axon MD will handle the file import in the background. A process is checking for new uploads in Maximo and handling the import from Maximo to asset operations. Process uploads the physical document to the Documentum server and adds a number of properties to the document based on the mapping defined by the Maximo and Documentum setups. Now that the Axon MD job is complete, we can reload the service request in Maximo. There is no apparent change to what John Doe sees on the screen, except for a small optional marker in the attachments list. When the user clicks the View Document link, the URL of the document directs to the document in Documentum. Multiple URLs can be displayed, providing view and edit rights on the document as required. Now, back to Documentum. If we refresh the repository, we see a new folder appear, which is named after the new service request that was just created in Maximo. This is auto-generated, based on the servicing auto-link setup in Documentum. The new folder contains the document we just uploaded to Maximo. If we look at the properties of the document, we will see the information extracted from Maximo, such as the asset number and request classification. The service request that's raised follows all the Maximo workflow processes. The pump needs to be sent for repairs to an external servicing supplier. The pump is fixed and the supplier returns a servicing report along with the fixed pump. This is scanned and uploaded directly into Documentum by the respective department. It's filed under the correct folder using the service request document properties, including the service request number. The document import property drop-down values can be synchronized to Maximo through dictionary and taxonomy setups, which reference views managed by Axon MD. Again, a background Axon MD job is checking what new documents have been imported in Documentum, which have not been linked to Maximo yet, or what documents linked in Maximo have been withdrawn or suspended. Links are added or removed in Maximo accordingly. On refresh of the service request, a new link automatically appears pointing to Documentum, requesting the loading of the added servicing report. Therefore, John Doe never moved away from the Maximo screen. Thanks for taking the time to view the Axon MD video. If you'd like more information on this solution, please visit CompuTimeSoftware.com or contact us on info at CompuTimeSoftware.com.